Hello, my name is Rachel. I'm a speech language pathologist turned homeschool mom and I am so excited to share with you my curriculum picks for my first grader. So let's dive right into this video. So in today's video, I will just be sharing my first graders, I can't believe I'm saying that, his specific single subject. So his language arts curriculum and his math curriculum. I will be making another video all about the family subjects. So stay tuned for that. So without further ado, we are <coughs> still coughing. Don't understand why. So for language arts, we are choosing the good and the beautiful language arts level one. We did the language arts level K last year and he really progressed well with that. And if it's broke, don't fix it type of mentality. So we are moving along to this curriculum and along with the, the workbook. This is the teacher manual and the workbook. It comes with booster cards and booster books. Now I know I said for language arts, if it's broke, don't fix it. And that is absolutely correct for language arts. However, our math, there were some things that I wanted to change around. For kindergarten, I wanted a really gentle, easy approach to see how much he could progress, how much his natural abilities in math were, and just kind of see exactly what he, where he actually needed instruction on. And I think I figured out where he needs um, what level he's at basically. We were using math lessons for a living for a living education and we got we did levels one and we're currently working through level two. And there are just things about that curriculum that that are great but that I think we my child needs a little more uh, rigorous instruction on. So we are picking a new curriculum. We are going with Singapore Dimensions Level 2A. I am so excited to start this. This is so different than our last curriculum, so it will be interesting to see how he progresses through this. With our old curriculum, there was just one, work, one book for instruction and his workbook. This, there's three, and I got the teachers, the teachers, a guide because I've heard that this has way better um, just examples to teach from. So I'm so excited for this. So this is the teacher's manual. And then we have the, the workbook and then the textbook. And I believe there's also tests you can get, but I didn't think it was necessary to be testing my child. Um, I think I have a pretty good handle on if my child needs more instruction on something and if, how my child is doing. I'm right there with him. I'm guiding him. I'm instructing him. So I don't. I didn't think the test book was necessary. And the last thing for my first grader is handwriting for his uh, single subjects. So we are sticking with the good and the beautiful handwriting. This is their level one and handwriting. He loves doing it. We have this. We also might add on at some point, uh, the learning without tears, um, handwriting. I think the orange book is next cause he did the purple one and now he's on the level K, the good and the beautiful. So, um, we might add the orange in as well at some point in the year. So big changes for math, strong and steady for language arts. I am so looking forward to this upcoming school year. Let me know your guys' picks for language arts and math in the comments below. And I think that is everything for this video. So I hope wherever you are, you are having a fantastic day. Bye.